I sensed danger here because while Crystal might be authentic, like I don't, I don't want to be in touch with my ex anymore. Didn't work then. I'm the one that broke it off. I'm with my ex husband. Don't care. Don't care. But he had a dog that I still think about, and they didn't seem like they were a great match. So I would really like to know how the dog is doing. And the danger for me was not on Crystal's part, but that this dude is going to interpret her reaching out as him or as her wanting to reconnect in any way shape or form so crystal hey crystal hey how are y'all hi okay so you told us on friday there was nothing here you just really wanted to know how the dang dog is doing just so curious about apollo because it just didn't feel like it was a good mix for i mean looking at them together you're like you don't even really dig this dog Right, right. It just didn't seem like a good fit at the time. Okay. Well, Tommy reached out. What? What are you laughing about? Uh, I did. I reached out, and he hit me back pretty quickly. Oh. And then he hit me back again. Uh-huh. And then he hit me back for a third time. That's why I'm laughing, because there's so, not one. There's not two. There's three responses. Really? Yeah. He wanted to get his point across. Does that, oh, good. Does that sound like him? It sounds like he is irritated by it. By it yeah. <laughs> and I, w- I will say he's a big fan of the Burt Show, so thanks for listening. <laughs> oh, you let a good one go there, woman. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's actually the one who found y'all first, so. Okay. All I got right. him back. He's not bad either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first response. Hey, Tommy, this is surreal. I listen to the Burt Show every day, and I love you guys. I, apparently, this guy is very perky in my life. Um, <laughs> I, I guess because he sent three emails back to back to back, I feel like he's just a perky dude. Um, it was actually Crystal who introduced me to your show some years back because we both listened to your show. I wondered in the back of my head after we broke up if there was ever going to be a situation where she reached out to you to contact me contact me for one reason or another. I guess my hunch was right. <laughs> your day has come. Yes. <laughs> I would like to answer Crystal's question with my two with two main points. First, yes, my dog Apollo is doing wonderfully, and we have a very solid bond. I stopped posting to his Instagram because I was so heartbroken from the breakup that the account just made me feel more pain than joy to post on there, as I know Crystal and her mom followed the account. That being said, Apollo is actually the first dog I've ever owned and adopted on my own, and Crystal was there with me every step of the way as I got him, and she was awesome at helping me understand how to better take care of him and be a good dog dad. I will always be grateful to her for that. The second point that I want to address is that I'm a little hurt that she's asking you about my dog and not so much me. I don't know if that was deliberate, like maybe she's trying to imply that it's more important to get an update on my dog and only my dog, but I don't know. That doesn't seem like something she would do as far as throwing shade or being petty. That's actually not implied. That's exactly what's being said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that happened. Yeah. Facts. There's no, there's no mixed message there. She always had great character and was generally honest with people, but my gut is telling me that maybe she was too nervous to reach out to me directly and decided to go through the birth show, and I understand. Sometimes people want a buffer, and there's nothing wrong with that. Around her birthday last year, which was about six months after she ended the relationship, I reached out to her via email to start a dialogue and maybe have a post-relationship friendship because I really valued her as a person in my life. In our exchange, she made it clear that she no longer wanted to pursue a friendship with me. After trying to explain my feelings on things, I told her I understood and decided to give her the space she wanted. To this day, I still regret that we are not friends or are somehow in each other's lives, even platonically. She is such a great person, and it can be rare to find generally good people. This is still the first response, right? Correct. And we haven't gotten to the dog yet. Nope. Yeah, no, he did. He, <laughs> he said no, he, he, did, he addressed did, he did the dress. dog first. That's it. I mean, Apollo's yeah, doing did, wonderfully, Apollo. and we have a very solid bond. Okay. Um, so that's why this whole situation is throwing me for a mental loop. She has my email. She has my number. She can contact me anytime. I have not burned any bridges with her or blocked her. I'm still open to having a friendship. However, if she truly is just checking on the dog without any care about me, then this situation just reignites the enormous pain and anger that I lived through all those months ago when she ended the relationship. So I'm having my fingers crossed that there's more to this message. Take care, John. That was the first message. Okay, so he's going to let that one go. Then he started stewing on a little bit. He's like, oh, I got more to say. All right, well, Crystal, anything to say with the first uh, response? Um, he, he said very nice things about me. That was very sweet. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, um, 
I'm surprised to hear that he still has Apollo, but if they have a great bond together, then that's fantastic. How about the other stuff he was saying? (laughs) (laughs) Um, um, Can we just see what his other responses are? (laughs) No, I will not go on until you tell us what you think. (laughs) Oh, Kristen's Uh, playing hardball this morning. um, I definitely don't want to hurt his feelings by reaching out. Um, it is only about the dog. Um, a lot of the lack of contact is the way that he approached me via email on my birthday, six months after I broke up with him. It was very hostile. Mm-hmm. Um, when I asked him if he wanted to discuss the issues in the relationship, he got very upset and shut it down. So um, that's been the reason for, for no contact, Got it. honestly. Okay. Right, here's response number two. Just a quick follow-up. I heard the set up in quotation segment with crystal this morning i just want to be very clear that when i said starting a dialogue and possible friendship i really meant just that i am also in a new relationship myself have totally moved on and i'm very happy and yes apollo is in great care with me and we have never been happier together she can rest assured that apollo is deeply loved he gets his shots every year plenty of exercise and he is thriving i would never want to rehome him and there is no need to Any frustration she saw from me when I first got him is because I was still learning how to handle pet ownership from an emotional perspective, and it took me a while to adjust. We have definitely hit our groove since then, and all is well. Thanks, John. Perfect. All right. Would you, are you ready for response three? (laughs) Uh, Sure. (laughs) This is the third email now. Do we have a time? Hey, Tommy, what was the time in between? Response one, two, and three. Just curious. Hang hang on. I'll I'll get back to you on that in just a second. Okay. Keep going. All right. So response three. I just have one more thing to add here (laughs) that I think is really important. If Crystal is open to it, I would love to email her very recent pictures of Apollo that she and her loved ones can enjoy. Also, we can do a quick FaceTime session because I'm pretty sure as soon as Apollo sees Crystal's face and hears her voice, he would recognize her immediately and start wagging his tail. I'm sure he misses her too. All that being said, I am grateful that she reached out and expressed her concern, even if it was through a third party. I just want to make it clear that there are absolutely no hard feelings, and I genuinely hope that Crystal, Daryl, Chris, her mom, and Terry are doing very well, and I sincerely <laughs> wish them the best. Thanks, Bert Show. John. Your turn, that's Crystal. Really, that's so sweet. <laughs> Honestly, that's so sweet. And it actually makes me feel a lot better. I was kind of concerned after the first email that I really hurt his feelings. I really did not want to hurt his feelings or, or stir up any negative emotions this way by any means. Um, but honestly, current pictures of Apollo would be really awesome. <laughs> I um, currently have a new dog. And has a, kind of, uh, Where'd you go? And, um, and I could uh, talk to my husband about possibly um, uh, let's do uh, a FaceTime and maybe even get our dogs together because my current dog has way too much energy. I, I can hear <laughs> Dobby's head rattling and shaking. She's working from home Sorry. and I saw it through the Zoom. You think that's a bad idea? Dogs don't FaceTime each other first off. Like you can put a phone in front of a dog. They don't care unless you like have a treat hovering over it. It's not working. But we need to let this go. <laughs> like, like uh, I know he's saying, like, uh, I wish you and your family well. I have a new girlfriend. Me and Paula are great. But uh, I think we're done here, right? Yeah. Had just this, toying with the guy's emotions. Had this dog, like, pulled you out of a fire or something like that? I might feel differently <laughs> yes, about it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, but I don't know. I'm just a, I, I guess now I'm just a really big fan of avoiding any kind of potential tension and this one feels like it just has some built into it but you may be much more mature i hope you are much more mature than i am i want you to play out in your head how that conversation is going to go with your husband (laughs) well he literally just left forever (laughs) 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 it would something it would be something i need to talk to him about tonight um, we're pretty secure in our relationship. You probably think it's a little weird, too, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying sure. to think. Yeah, you guys, with your significant others, if they came to you and said, look, I'm not into this person anymore at all. Yeah, we dated for like six months or whatever, but I really got attached to the dog. Can we all meet up? I, I, no. I I'd be like, no. 
Yeah. No, no, no. Let's not do this. I mean, she's the one who took it to a doggy play date. He was just saying, hey, you want to FaceTime the dog? And I'll send you some pictures via email. Uh, you're right. You're right. I took it further. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. I'm, I was not expecting three responses today. I do have your answer on the in-between times between those three responses. Okay. It took about 20 hours between uh, one and two and about 35 hours between two and three. <laughs> Man, wow. so for so two he, days he was thinking about this. Yeah, he gave it some thought. Yeah, he did. All right, Crystal, you got the info now. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm uh, glad Apollo's doing well, and so is John. All right, take care. Thanks. Bye. All right, Mo, you're the one with a sensitive mic today. I can hear everything going on in your body. <laughs> I was texting him to tell him to back off. It. It's picking up everything. We can hear. I backed all the way off, and it still caught my stomach from 20 feet away. It did. <laughs> we heard your breakfast digest, dude. Uh, Mo, you may need some nasal spray. <laughs> and we even heard this sigh. You were like in the middle of her talking. You were like. <sighs> I'm sorry, man. It's Mo- the mile high air. The Bird Show.